Good morning, gorgeous ones. Dr. Lucy here. Just, well, it's about 8.30, I think, by now. Um, this morning, I'm just doing a little brief chat on self-care, self-soothing, uh, self which we I talked a little bit last night about in my cooking show. And Mary and I are recording a podcast on it today, which will be out in a few weeks. Um, but I guess one of the things I want to remind you is that self-care is actually sometimes hard. It's not just bubble baths and candles, which is, you know, the influencer discussion on what self-care is. Self-care is actually the caring that is helpful to not just you at the moment, but future you as well. Okay, so quite often we focus just on the you in the moment and and that, that's still wonderful, but you in the moment can't come at the expense of you in the future. So here's an example of what I would consider to be some very good self-care on my behalf yesterday. Good morning, Tara, how are you? Good morning, Annette. And yesterday I, you know, went for a swim. I didn't really want to, like I actually had a little chat and I said, oh no, you're too tired. And in fact, I spoke about this on the show last night. So. If, uh, if you haven't, if you didn't watch it, well, I'm gonna tell you again this morning. Good morning, Sue. So a couple of things on how this, I think, is a great example of self-care. So as you know, I have to do, well, I don't have to. I choose to do hydrotherapy as a way to move my body because exercise on land is now something I can no longer do. So it's easy when the day is nice and sunny because I've got a pool in the yard and so I just hop into the pool and splash around. So the weekend down in Melbourne was beautiful. It was so easy to do, so easy. And then Monday, it was still beautiful, still beautiful. Good morning, Jane, gorgeous woman. It was, it, but you know what happened? I was actually tired. My muscles were aching. I'd done too big, what I would call too big workouts the day before. And I really... I kind of wanted to do it because it was beautiful weather and in my head I'm going, you know, Lucy, you should take advantage of this. This time it's sunny, you know, tomorrow could be raining. This is a good time to do it. But actually listening to my body where my body was going, you know what, I'm actually tired. I've done enough. My muscles are aching. I just need to rest. There is nothing wrong with resting. So I did. So I rested and I didn't feel guilty doing it. And then yesterday, my muscles felt good again. I go, okay, I can go for a swim. And my brain's going, but it's cold. It's going to be awful. It's going to be terrible. Anyway, it wasn't. It was actually fine. But I had to do a little pushing of myself to do it. Because if I'd just listened to my brain that said it's cold, I would have put it off. So self-care is doing the things that you don't always want to do, that you know are good for you. But also recognizing when your body has had enough and that you've done enough. And so learning those, you know, that's not something that's easy because we're often so, you know, driven. You must do your exercise. You've got to do it no matter what. If you don't do it, you're weak. All of that sort of stuff. I actually listened. I was, I needed rest. There's nothing wrong with rest. And then I listened the next day. I didn't need the rest. My brain didn't want to do it, but I did it anyway. That's self-care. Okay, that is actually caring for my body. Doing your glucose tolerance test doesn't feel like self-care, but it is absolutely, Elizabeth, it's like going to the dentist. Hello, Sam. It is totally like that. It doesn't feel like you, it's not, and this is the difference, okay? And I've got a post coming out on it, the difference between self-care and self-soothing. Self-soothing is what we do to make ourselves feel better in the moment. Self-care is actually what we need to do to look after our bodies. There is some overlap, but there's also stuff that people call self-care that's not, okay? And that's things like drinking alcohol or eating, you know, eating a block of chocolate. That's soothing and, it, and it, there's no judgment, but it's not care. And there are people out there making posts on self-care and talking about having, you know, uh, you know, um, sitting down and having a piece of cake is self-care. It, it's not. It's self-soothing and there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just not self-care. So anyway, that's just me on my little high horse about 
self-care. So my lovelies, um, do the thing. <laughs> do the thing that you need to do to look after your body and your mind and have the patience or the compassion to recognize when you don't need to do it, when you are allowed to rest. Okay, that's a path we're navigating. No black and white. Have a wonderful, wonderful day today, darlings. I would love for you to drop in the um, comments below what act of self-care are you doing today? It may not be fun, okay? It might be going to the dentist. It may not be soothing, or it may be. There's, a, there's an overlap. And as you know, for me, I'm always saying that eating whole real food, low-carb real food, cooking from scratch, that's actually an act of self-care. All right, lovelies, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye now.